Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the proper way to sleeve a water line or electrical line or other pipe through a concrete wall, a concrete block wall. So first you take your pipe outer diameter, usually it's PVC, I'm using electrical PVC, and then you take your inside pipe. Uh, I'm using black pipe for a water line, but you can use electrical pipe or any other pipe. Be using rigid foam to uh, do a nice tight seal and to hold the pipes in place. Now pick a hole saw, the diameter of your outer pipe, but remember you have that wall of that hole saw, so you gotta do the inside diameter. And then the smaller pipe, you wanna do the same where the outside diameter is gonna be your size of your pipe. So we're gonna chuck it up and you have to make sure that you don't go fully through the foam board because you can't cut out the bigger piece and hold it and cut out the smaller piece. So you need that inside guide drill. So you just drill slightly in to form a little indentation ridge. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take the smaller inside pipe hole saw and chuck that up. And we're going to be drilling that all the way through so that you use that hole pilot hole as a nice guide so you get a nice clean hole so we just drill it through and remember to take it off the concrete or block it up or whatever so you can see how it forms a nice hole and there's a little bit of gap and don't worry we're going to take that up in a second we're going to use some uh, polyurethane but now you take your bigger outside diameter hole saw and if the pilot hole is not there your bits can walk so that's why you do that indentation to keep it nice and centered and you just drill that right through and you got your little sleeve. Do this a couple more times so you get more sleeves and they pull out pretty easy you shouldn't have to use a screwdriver or anything just grab it and hold to it and uh, just pull it it should come right out of that hole saw. Now you can see how pretty good you know it's a little bit ragged jagged on the edges so it's no big deal like I said you're going to be putting that uh, polyurethane around it so it'll be fine now you don't want too tight because you want a little bit of play and the polyurethane is going to take it up so what you use is roof and flash and polyurethane it's really good it's uh, made for outside so now what we're going to be doing is drilling through the block now you have to make sure you locate the block because in the center of the block is going to be a rib, concrete rib. So you want to go to either side of that and just put your pipe up there and trace it. Be using a hammer drill. Now if you never used a hammer drill before, you got to wear some ear protection, eye protection and they're really loud so I'm going to show you a little bit of what that sound sounds like. So make sure to turn your computers down, your uh, phones down, any of your speakers down because it's kind of annoying. I use earplugs. It's pretty a high pitch annoying noise. So you're just going to drill around the outside and then on the inside and then it's you're going to bust right through with a hammer. Now when you go all the way through, you're going to bust out the back side. So whatever side is on the back is going to like blow out. You'll see it coming up. But so we're speeding this up, just going around. And you just take a hammer and you just hammer it out. Just make sure that you can go around it and get your pipe in there. So you might have to tap around a little bit more, make sure the pipe gets in there. It's you kind of want it kind of tight because then it's less filling you need of the mortar. Um, I use hydraulic cement and I'll show you that uh, coming up, but we're just going to hammer this out. get chipped out you just do a dry fit see if your pipe fits in there if it fits in nice and snug you're good to go now you can see how the back side it blows it out and remember to put hydraulic cement or watertight cement around the pipe and you kind of want that consistency of 
barely hanging on it drips you don't want it too runny and you just go on the inside go around the pipe underneath the pipe and then do the outside and then make sure that pipe leans down a little bit dips down to the outside now we're going to insulate it with pink foam because this is a water line so it has to be insulated and remember to put your sleeve on the pipe before you shove it in there or you can do it on this side and you can see how the polyurethane you just goop it around and it forms a nice weather tight seal and you will have no problems so guys thanks for watching